Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today, my buddy Kendall Adair is back with me, and you got a special recipe for me. This is a comp recipe for a tri-tip, right? That's correct. What are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna take a light trim to it. We're gonna do a reverse sear, and it's gonna be delicious. Hey, Kendall beat me the last time we had a tri-tip competition, so I'm wanting to know the secrets. I'm gonna be on the other side of the table. I know I got an awesome Matador prime steak tri-tip. The meat's gonna be great. Now I just gotta learn the recipe. That's right. Let's get to cooking. We're actually gonna take kosher salt and do a real heavy coat of it all around. We're gonna let it set for about 15 minutes. As soon as 15 minutes marks up, you wanna rinse it pretty well to get all the salt off there. And then we're gonna go in and season it again. Okay, so the first part is the salt brine. That's right. And you're going heavy with kosher salt, 15 minutes. 15 that's minutes. Tops. So that's the secret. So you, you showed me something there now. So the salt's gonna tenderize and it's also gonna bring the color back out into it. And when we rinse it off, you'll see the difference in how it looks now and how it'll look then. It's gonna make that prime beef taste good. That's I know. right. We rinse the salt brine off after about 15 minutes. We just come through and we're just patting it off, getting all the water off, kind of cleaning up the edges here. We're gonna come through with the jacar and get it pretty nice and deep, just to tenderize. So that's just to break it down a little more. You're just making it soft, right? Yes, sir. We're gonna go a light coat of the Killer Hogs AP. Now I know this is exactly what you use in the competition, right? You're giving 100%. <laughs> I don't know if I believe that, Kendall, but I'm gonna trust you because I know that AP is good. That's right. A little Killer Hogs hot. Of course, I always say you could use any season, make this recipe your own, I'm sure. Oh yeah, 100%. And why are you using the black pepper? I, just, I put black pepper on everything, man. I'm just a black pepper fan. I think it cooks nicely. It also gives that just a little flake of black pepper in there and looks looks really good once it gets good and seasoned up. A little more heat. Mm-hmm. Now that Matador tri-tip, it still has a nice little fat cap on it, and that's gonna help oh, man. slow it down a little bit, you know, and I, I like, I don't mind the extra fat on it. A lot of times you get tri-tip, it's, it's all so trimmed lean, off, yeah. you know, you don't, you don't see that. But this one's got good marbling. It's kind of like cooking a brisket, but you know, the whole brisket, you leave a quarter inch trim on it, a little extra insurance on the grill. And it tastes delicious. We're gonna let the rub rest just for a few minutes once we get it all seasoned up here, then we'll get it smoking. Or as you say, mm. we'll get to cooking. Yeah. <laughs> what are you gonna cook it on today? Uh, I think we're gonna use the Traeger Timberline to do the reverse sear, and then we're gonna use the PK360 for the sear part. The tri-tip has been hanging out here. It's all seasoned up and ready to go on the Traeger. What are we looking at, Kendall, about? Well, we set it at 275. We're gonna get the tri-tip on, fat side down. We're gonna get the Thermalworks dot plugged in so we know it is about 115 degrees. Now I'm gonna, when I insert it, there's a line of fat right there. I'm actually gonna insert right here on this back side and we're ready to go. And just go to it, hits about 115. Yep, and then we're gonna take it over and sear it, hit it with some grill marks, and then it'll be ready to serve. So let's get the PK going for that part. That's right. To fire up the PK360, we're just starting with some B&B lump charcoal in a chimney. Get it good and hot, spread it out in the bottom of the PK, put your grill grates in place, it's ready to go. Timer's going off, let's look at this tri -tip. 115 degrees, Kendall. I'm gonna Woo! go ahead and pull that for you. Yeah, that right there is nice. So we're gonna do the the 90 degrees, as I call them, for this. You can go straight on there like that, get a good push on it. And Malcolm, if you'll set us a, about a two and a half to three minute timer on your phone there. All right, so we're going in here. Just gonna flip it straight over. Rather than doing the, the turns first, I'm gonna get both my sides and then I'll get my side marks because it'll cook a lot more even that way. So this time, we're gonna go the opposite. Get a good push down on there, make sure we're all good. Searing that fat, I love that. But you're gonna love the way this tastes even better, Malcolm. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. And do the same thing here. Look at those marks, Kendall, man. man. That's absolutely beautiful. I agree. Perfect cross hatch. Two more minutes and we're gonna be done, right? We'll be ready to eat. Here we go. Let's see. Ooh, I'm look at that. I'm calling this one done. That is it, buddy. Kendall, that's perfect. Let's get that thing over here to the butcher paper, get it wrapped up and let it chill out. So we've pulled it at 125. I'm gonna put a light coat of finishing dust on here and then I'm gonna wrap it up and let it rest for about 
10 minutes. And that's just a little more AP? Just a little more AP, a little salt, pepper, garlic on there, and we'll be ready to go to town on this bad boy. And this is just for the rest, right? You that's right. Put in the bushel paper. That's right. Uh, you could wrap it in full, I guess. That's right, you can wrap it in full. And, I mean, I guess you could probably go ahead and slice it, but I like I like for any of my, especially the larger cuts of meat, to get a good rest on it. So, Kendall, this is a moment of truth, man. We've rested in about 10 minutes. Let's see how she's You're going to unwrap it, and uh, I'm going to get to try it, right? That's right. I want to see what this reverse seared tri tip is all about. Well, oh man. I think that is just absolutely beautiful. That is beautiful. Show me what we're working with, man. Man, we're going to start on this, this bigger end here. Oh, look at the juice run on. That's what I'm talking about. Just go ahead and get it going here. Look at there. It smells delicious. I know y'all can't smell that, but when you do it at your house, you will. That's a thing of beauty, man. So, Kendall, what do you think, man? Is that exactly man, how you want it to look? I think that is about perfect. You can see a little medium bit of blood, rare. Medium rare. You know, Back when I beat you in the competition, I think we had to do medium there. Yeah. But, you know, for, for us eaters at the house, I mean, look at that. That's, oh, that's beautiful. Just gorgeous. Juices run. I mean, that's the way a tri tip's supposed to be cooked. I love that reverse sear technique. I mean, you can't hardly mess one up doing it that way. I mean. Uh, well, I'm going to take this one right. So, you're going to give me a bite? Is that what we're doing? What are we doing, man? Yeah, here, here, hang on. That bite's for you. All right, all right, all right. A little I'll fat take, on the bottom. I don't I'll mind. take this one. <laughs> mm. Oh man! Mm. Hold on, I got, I got to, <laughs> got to do the old sop, the board sop. Mm. Man, that'll do right there. Mm. That Matador prime steak is good. That Matador meat, man, it is tender as it can be. The jacquard, I know, helped a little, but man, that is flavor town, mm. and I like it. And I even like the little fat trim on the I do too. I think that just made it right there. Mm -hmm. That's something that I haven't had on a tri-tip before. But it reminds you of a brisket like mm -hmm. you were saying earlier. That's as good as any tri-tip I've ever ate, man. I'm telling you right there. Well, thank you, sir. It's not Fan bad from a young man from Mississippi, huh? That is fantastic. So, Kendall, I'm going to make sure I got it down. About a three-pound tri-tip. Got to have that good prime Matador prime steak. Salt first. Kosher salt, about 10, 15 minutes. Wash it off. AP, hot rub. Throwing it on the smoker, 275 degrees, until it hits 115 internal. Fired up a good grill, PK360 did a job searing it. About two minutes, two minutes, turn it, two minutes, two minutes. That's all there is to it. Take it off when it's about medium rare. That's right, 125 is where the market we cut it at today, and then we served it up with a nice uh, dish of lobster mac and cheese. There's three different types of cheese. And I tell you, I think this Ooh. right here is a meal for a son. That is a meal for a king right That's there. Right. Hey, thanks for coming out and being on the video today, man. You can find Kendall, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Facebook what, at, at Smoked, Smoked and Spice. Spice yep. That's right. Um, Y'all, appreciate you checking out the YouTube video. If you like them, you can subscribe to our channel. We're going to be putting out more all year long. You can also find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We'll see y'all next time. I gotta get me another bite of this, man. I'm gonna cut up some of this tip down there. Yeah, go home and get me yeah. one too here. Ooh, man. You know I gotta get my hands dirty in here. Put them on some meat. I like it. Uh, I think that one's for me. Get a little mop, get a little mop on there. Ooh, I almost cut myself. I almost cut myself. <laughs>